All right, so today in this video, I want to show you how I fold a fly plate. Now, this is not the definitive way to do it. There are lots of different ways that you can fold these. Um, after searching the internet and looking and trying to find different ways to do it, I found this way to be the simplest and the one that for me looks the best. Uh, you can do whatever you would like, but this is just an idea um, that I think makes it looks really easy to do and makes it look really awesome. So our first step is we're gonna fold this um, from basically one one corner and you can it doesn't matter our fly plates are uh, 54 by 54 for, so they're square so just take two corners and fold them together okay so once you've done that um, you should have uh, the triangle shaped here um, and you can you know flatten out the fringe on the side there but it doesn't matter as it'll fall down and look really nice once we're done so what I want to do right now is uh, I want to make sure one thing that your the the edge that does not have the fringe so this edge right here you want to have in front of you when you do the next few steps so make sure the fringe is away from you and let me show you what we'll do next okay now that we have the triangle folded what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge right here that doesn't have the fringe and we're gonna fold it towards this edge and you're gonna want to kind of over fold so it's gonna cover it up so you're gonna take it like this and just fold it all the way over keeping this corner somewhat nice and then just draping it over like that okay so that's what we want our fold to look at like first then go ahead and take this fold and bring it back to back to line up with that previous edge here now the the idea here is to get this to kind of be in line with the fringe so you just take your hand and just move it and get it to line up it doesn't have to be exact but right about there we'll get it now the reason I like to do this is you it's, it's harder to see here uh, with it but this is the back side the reason I like to do this is if you flip it over and you lay it out you get this nice um, and if you can you can fix it as needed once you get on this side but you get this nice zigzag pattern on the fly plate which I think is really awesome and looks really cool on uh, on the back all right so just a quick close-up of how to pin it it's it's fairly simple but I thought I would show you again um, this particular part here is the back side so you when you do this you're gonna want to fold it over just like this um, you can get your uh, fly plate your brooch there um, just make sure you pin it through all three because there's one uh, there's a second one and then there's three there's basically three folds here that you need to go through to make sure you've got it all pinned together um, but basically pin it together with I don't know uh, you can see that it's about a foot or so of um, a fly plate that will drape up in the front so this is basically really close to the top of your shoulder and then it drapes down from there just as a side note or a reminder when you've pinned the fly plate and you're going to be put it on like showing in this picture it doesn't pin to the jacket especially if you have the epaulettes on the shoulder because it can go straight through those. now if you don't have those um, then you might have to pin it to the jacket but normally with those on you can run it through your left shoulder and it'll hang down just a little bit and it'll stay on fairly easily so there won't be any additional pinning necessary Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us uh, to contact us uh, through the contact form on the website. There's a link in the description below. You can also call our, our number 801-309-5113 or just email us uh, bryce at utkilts.com. Thanks.